Hi everyone, Rick Bray with BT BOCES, and in this video I'd like to briefly walk you through the new team drives in Google. You may have noticed in the spring of this year uh, that on the left hand side of your panel a new icon showed up and that's team drives. Now I'll put a link to Google's video uh, explaining team drives in the comments below, so feel free to check that out if you want some more information. But basically uh, team drives is a shared space to work on files. So it's kind of like before when you used to do shared with me files, the advantage to team drives is twofold. One, it doesn't duplicate the files the way shared with me did. I know a lot of people were frustrated that when you share a folder with someone through shared with me, it shows not only the folders, but the individual uh, files within that folder and there's no way to organize it. Team Drives doesn't do that. It acts just like a new drive. It's awesome. The other advantage to it is that uh, no one owns a file in Team Drives. The drive owns the file. So the advantage behind that is if, uh, if one of the people you're working with happens to leave your institution, you don't lose access to all those files. They'll still be located in the team drive. But one thing I want to give you a heads up on uh, is that it's not a good place if you're sharing out presentations with people or with students. In order for them to view the presentation, they would have to have access to your team drive. So the last step may be to pull the file out of the team drive or make a copy of it out and put it in your personal drive to share it. We learned that one the hard way. But let's take a look at how to set up a team drive if you haven't already started playing with this. All you need to do is click on team drives on the left and again, you can drop down and see all the ones that you have access to. And when you click on the new button, you'll have the ability to add a new team drive. We'll just keep this one as untitled. Once I create it and give it a name, uh, I can now put files into it. I can also add members up in the left hand area here. I can click on add members and you can add people from within your institution or your organization also outside of. So that means they can be outside of your domain and still have access to this. The sharing permissions are the same as Google files, meaning edit, comment, and view. The difference with team drives is there's also full access, which as you can see is the default setting. That lets you do everything that edit can do with the addition to add members and delete members from the team drive. So you may not want everyone to have full access to it, maybe only one or two people, but that's completely up to you. So that's great. Uh, to upload a file, all you have to do is click on new and file upload just like you did before. You can also drag and drop files into this space. Uh, if you wanna change the way it looks, click on the little drop down menu at the top and say change theme and you can pick from a gallery and there's all sorts of great stuff in there. Currently, you cannot upload a folder to Team Drive, um, but I'm, I suspect that's gonna change soon. At this time, you can only upload single files, and I believe you have to be the owner of that file to upload it. So, you know, just some little things that are in place there. One last thing I did wanna mention, uh, one of the nice parts about sharing files in Google Drive is that if you have multiple folders, you can say that these people only have access to this subfolder and all of its contents and these people only have access to this subfolder. That's not the case in Team Drives. It's kind of an all or nothing. So you may wanna be aware when you set that up. So when I look at this um, folder here, this Team Drive that I have, I can add people to it by clicking on add members. This is very similar to how Google Drive is currently set up. And again, I can put in their names, addresses, set the level that I wanna give them. That's all great. But if I go into the team drive and if I now try to share this folder, I no longer have that option. And even if I right click on it, I can't share it. So I can't give people access to only that folder. You have to give them access to the full team drive. So that's another one of the little catches that's there. You may need to set up multiple team drives depending on your, uh, your setup at work. So there you have it. There's a brief introduction to team drives in Google. Um, again, there's a link to Google's video down in the information section of this video. Please feel free to check that out. And if you have any questions, feel free to email me. As always, thank you for watching.